Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? It's Timmy Joe making videos about computers on the internet, and we're back finally for everyone's favorite show that's a completely original thing that only I ever thought of. New plebs try to sell things and junk on the interwebs. <laughs> so, we're back, and I finally have internet. And it's taking me over a month to get this uh, second episode done, and I gotta thank every single one of you. You're flying up on the screen here uh, who submitted for this. And I apologize if yours didn't get looked at, but it's probably because it expired, because I took too long to look at it. And then the silly thing was, I didn't create any sort of special email address or anything like that for last episode, so I just had to siphon through like 100 emails uh, between, you know, and it filled my inbox up, and I was just like, Ugh. so this time, I'm, I'm smarter. And right here on the screen, you're gonna see uh, it's uh, silly ads at timmyjoe.com. That's where you will submit your silly ads for the next episode. And what I'm looking for here is completely overpriced items or people trying to sell things they don't know, like a Pentium 4 cutting edge processor for $200 or uh, maybe an extremely terrible gaming PC trying to like put the, pull the wool, the rug over the people's eyes or whatever you got to do. Uh, you know, uh, to sell it, and you know, you're selling a, a phenom for two thousand dollars. It's not going to work, right? So, on to the episode, and I have so many to go through. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it through them all in this episode. So, right off the bat, i7 computer build, and I haven't looked really into de much details in these. I've picked ones that, at first glance, look like they could be good for the episode. So we have a seven. What was it say? Seventeen hundred, thirteen hundred dollar i i7 computer build. Okay, and the build system, it's an uh, Intel i7-7770 CPU. Sounds legit. And it's got a gigabyte motherboard, Kingston 240 SSD, 8 gigabytes of DDR4, thermal take, PSU, cooler master. Like, this doesn't actually seem like that bad a deal. Of course, the reason why this is sent to me is it's missing uh, a graphics card at that price. But, you know, I, I could see selling a 7700K for you know the, the whole system for like a thousand bucks maybe uh you know or at least put some sort of gpu in there but i mean the power supply is junk this isn't exactly funny it's just kind of sad i accept a computer build i label you not good price we're, we're moving on boom so this is a black and gray laptop computer k fuller hasn't added a description to their listing but it is a black and gray laptop computer that's a wonderful laptop computer you can see that the screen retracts very well into the clamshell nature of it it's just a wonderful it's just a silly ad that they put laptop computer on moving on 170 dollars for this beautiful geforce gt 2724 gigabyte graphics card um uh, this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about um this gt gt 724 gigabytes none of that makes sense this is a 20 dollar graphics card that should be used for uh, putting video out to a monitor only. And it most certainly has a gigabyte, if that, of graphics and memory. DDR3 to boot, but I like that backside picture. Oh, it's sold. It hit this one sold. <laughs> sold. Who sells that computer? Anyways, so moving on, uh, we got a $1,350 gaming PC. So remember, we just looked at one that was $1,300 and it was an i7, no graphics card. At least this one's got a graphics card. So this gaming computer is fully equipped to handle any game thrown at it. Any game. Uh, it's got a 240mm I.O., keeps the CPU chilly. The graphics card is the top of the line RX 470 Gaming X by MSI. A beefy card that has 8GB of VRAM so you can crank those graphics up. So, I think what this guy was getting at is it's a top-of-the-line RX 470, not a top-of-the-line graphics card. And eh, it's not, not a terrible graphics card, probably, but, you know, it's an MSI version. It doesn't have a backplate, which always bugs me at, you know, the kinds of prices you're going to pay for that. But it's got a very nice tempered glass edition. I mean, $1,350, you're, you're not even naming the CPU that's in there? Yeah, no, it doesn't. So what CPU is in there? 
Like for all we know, that's a phenom in there. Looks like a gig. It looks like that's probably a Ryzen system. So you know, whatever. Thirteen fifty. That's too expensive. But you know, who who knows? Vancouver, Washington. Okay, over a week ago. Okay, good good for you. Uh, I call you nine hundo max. <laughs> Moving on. Look at this beastly gaming PC with a G forty five sixty GTX ten fifty Ti and sixteen gigs of RAM. <gasps> It's got 16 gigs of RAM, $800. So this is selling the gaming rig because I don't have the time. You'll get the most out of this PC with AAA games running at 60 FPS. Overclock, there's FPS tests on YouTube with the same rig as mine, and you can check it out. So, uh, worth $800? I wouldn't sell it for that. I'd sell it for 500, 600 Canadian. Um, but, I mean, at least this is a viable gaming computer. If this was selling for like 600, It'd be all right. I call it 600. Moving on. Ooh, this is a really good one. So, EVGA G4 GTX 974 gigabyte for the win. So, $365. That's way too damn much money. You can buy a 1060 or an RX 580 for that kind of money these days. And those are current, G well, current gen. Pfft two years old gen but they're still much better than a 970. 970 is not a bad card though i'd pay 200 dollars for this 200 dollars. but let's see i have a self in immaculate condition evga geforce gtx 974 gigabyte for the win gaming acx2 whisper silent cooling with backplate graphics card this is a very sought after model for gaming because it has actually three and a half gigs of memory. I don't know if you know that, but <laughs> and it uh, looks like uh, similar models on the web for 452. That's how good it is. I have the original box. We'll trade for a 1080. <laughs> this video card is selling for 9.99 on eBay right now. You can find anything for any price on eBay. eBay is no authority for this. So I count. I call you old generation. <laughs> Moving on. Gaming PC, custom build needs, CPU, GPU, and memory. CPU, GPU, and memory. $400. So let's see what you get for $400. You get a cooler master box light. Is that even a nice looking case? All these have like the side open. Oh yeah, beautiful case. Anyways, and uh, what is the motherboard's Gigabyte B250, so you can't overclock with it. Power supply is a fi CX550, so those are about 50 bucks. Cooler Master Fan Pro 200 mil RGB. So you have an AIO on there. And, oh, there's an SSD. I mean, I wouldn't buy this because you can't test it, and he can't prove it was working because he didn't have a CPU in there. And we all know how uh, like the LGA socket really works out when there's no CPU in it. Anyways. What a silly, silly, that's a silly ad. Moving on. Ooh, $140. GeForce 6800 GTOC graphics card. It's in amazing condition. It's just gathered from some lint laying around, and I recovered it from my storage today and verified it's working. Installed it onto my Windows 10 desktop. Worth $4,100. New. But I'll let it go for cheaper, dude. I need the money. It's worth 40 bucks, dude. And that's the only person that's going to buy it. Nostalgia. I'd buy it for 40 bucks, but... Sorry. Moving on. It's an i7 custom gaming PC. Okay. Mobo MSI Z970. Not bad. Okay. i7 4790K. Okay. And what kind of graphics card? 970. Uh, the Elgato capture card. Not, I mean, this isn't a bad deal at all. I don't know why you guys are sending me these deals that are not half bad. I mean, uh, I might be worth like eight, eight or seven hundred dollars, but it's not completely out of this realm. So I give it a half approved. Black and blue computer tower. It's a black and blue computer tower. Let's see what's going on here. Price is negotiable. Sell my PC computer. This is a super computer with a massive case and powerful guts to complement and fill it. I have this computer to game online. I have played such games as Minecraft with over 200 add-ons. Elder Scrolls at full resolution. With There's not any lag on this blue and black computer beast with super computers. It's got a DVD, SSD, Zemtas, uh, i7, 3.5, Crucial Ballistics, 16 gigs. Uh, so you're not really naming what it is. And a GeForce GTX. Okay. Se uh, a 760's worth about 5 cents these days. Eh, maybe, maybe 60 bucks. So this computer's worth 
500 bucks. Come on, bro. It's no super computer. I'm assuming it's got like a 3770 in it if the uh, base clock is 3.5 gigahertz. You know, can't be that great. But uh, you're not telling what kind of RAM it is, DDR what. No, nah, Antec 650 power supply. Antec's not a great brand. Haven't been around. Well, they're still sort of around. But, I mean, their power supplies are pretty old. Anyways, moving on. I, I label you not supercomputer. There we go. Ooh, it's an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 Founders Edition, which does not look like that. And it's uh, it's a 1070 for $1,300. Well, uh, I'm going to put my money down on this one, boy, howdy, because we are not sure what we're selling. A brand new, unused, unopened, undamaged is original packaging where packaging is. Packaging should be the same as what's found. Okay, NVIDIA. Um, what is it? Is it a 1070 or a 1060? Good, good on you, eBay listing. Pfft. Moving on. I said moving on. There we go. Entry-level gaming PC, Intel G4560. A lot of those being sold today. Uh, we got, uh, the system was built with a mixture of new and used hardware. All s items are brand new other than the GPU, motherboard, power supply, which were pulled from an existing rig. We got a KB Lake G4560. We got Ripjaw 8 gigabytes. We got 120 SSD. Ooh, and a GTX 650Ti. That's a good one. $1,000 for you. I label you too expensive for life. I'm not very funny. Is the problem. Storage drive not included. Price can be negotiated. Oh, look at that. It's another dusty beast. It's a Core i5, 16 gigs of RAM, gigabyte 1070, 3 gigabyte store, and plays most video games. 2250. 2250. I label you getting one graph or one computer for the price of two. Three. Yeah, you lose. Anyways, moving on. Oh, this one's still got the plastic on it. That's lovely. High spec gaming computer PC AMD Ath Ath AMD Athlon. High spec Athlon. Three three point seven gigahertz, four gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM. One is GTX Titan graphics. Really? Oh, I love me a good Titan graphics. That computer, I like. I guess it's not that expensive, but. It's like it's got like a GTX 680 Ti in it, and uh, what's supposed to be an AM or APU chipset with an Athlon. Pff, that's not so good. Not so good. I label you your case ain't gonna cut it. Ooh, ooh, this one's a little slanty. This is a pro gaming PC, 1700 bucks. Must be good. I7 6700K. Okay, motherboard Z170. Can actually overclock. Eight gigabytes GDR4 RAM. Um, okay. AMD RX 480 gaming 8 gigabyte video card. Do not contact me with unsolicited services or offers. I'm going to contact you with your gaming PC is too damn expensive and it's worth about $800, if that. Moving on. Oh, here we go. I don't know what this is. This is just a picture of some specs on Facebook. CPU. It's a, Dell, it's a CPU Dell XPS 630 Series 2009. Okay, and they want $2,000 for this. Two built-in Dell 500 gig SATA drives. Dell Intel quad processor. Dual inline memory modules. Oh, there's dual of them. Two Dell ATI Radeon 4850s. This is a beast of a system. Sim titles have all been previously registered and in most cases poor condition. What? Look at that! I like the case, anyways. But I mean, that's a really hard, hardcore, high-end gaming computer. Oh, it's like a Crossfire going on from like nine years ago, man. It's not worth two thousand dollars. It's worth I, I I give you worth nostalgia purposes one hundred dollars, if that. Oh, look at all the Sims games you get. Okay, I label you worth it. So that was it for the websites I had. I hope you enjoyed that. But uh, because I didn't do this for so long, of course, I'm, I, I still have other things we can look at. So bonus round. I got a special bonus round because a lot of you sent pictures and then the websites weren't working. Or you just sent pictures or screenshots. So I've got other things to show you. So cue them up. Poof! This is just a picture someone sent me and I want to read it for you. I got here my old build. This asshole stood up 
to all my gaming, gaming experiences. Literally giving you my first build. I'll even sign it if you ask. Everything you see here you get. 8 RAM of memory. AMD processor Black Phenom 2. Liquid cooling. Everything you need to start gaming. Computer. All I'm asking for is 100 bucks. Because I'm not a hoarder. And I don't want this or want to look at it. Because it made me rage quit so many times I almost got shot. I would love to have seen the ad that went along with this, but I couldn't find it. Woo! What's this? Mo it's a motherboard. It's pretty... It's not very interesting. It's... Your, your mom was so boring. <laughs> so... What? Is that an AM... Nah, that's like what? Uh, P4? First gen P4 motherboard from Adele? That's lovely. Oh, uh, uh, so there we go. Motherboard. It does get power. Doesn't know if it works. That's a good one. Zotac. GeForce GT 730. High-end. It's a high-end gaming graphics card for just only $100. I label you... Bullshit. Not worth it. GeForce high-definition 4K cutting-edge video graphics card. This has to be some sort of a troll, right? GeForce GTX 260. It doesn't even have gig of RAM. 448-bit GDDR3 memory bus. Perf perfect for gaming PC 4K HDMI pixel perfect picture. And the video quality brand new. First come, first serve. Don't waste my time. Serious buyers only. Because he's got this stuff hooked up on lock for the 4K goods. <laughs> Mister. Ships for $12 from Bakersfield, California. Boom. Uh, hi, I'm Carl Beeler. <laughs> <laughs> Got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 460 on the docket today. Should, so should I? I like this. The guy that sent me the ad wrote this in there. So I should buy this for a 1050 that performs five times better for the same price. Probably buy the 1050. Ooh, good one. So that was the end of all the new plebs, the special bonus round and everything. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode, and I thought I had a lot of fun making up really witty remarks to say about all of the advertisements. If you would like to send me an advertisement, I would be super happy to look at it. It's silly ads at timmyjoe.com, and I will try and get an episode out in the next like two weeks so that all your out rads will still be relevant. But I want to thank every single one of you who submitted to the show, and I hope you enjoyed my lovely commentary on these terrible advertisements. But it's time to go, it's time to edit, it's time to make videos happen. We got internet here in this, the studio, and if you want to help me out, I would love some help on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash watchtimmyjoe. That helps me get a little bit of money. It's like a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you can donate per month. That'll help keep these types of things rolling. You can also always donate older hardware. You know, if you have a P4 motherboard, bo a bo really boring motherboard you want to send me, or perhaps the 4K of GTX 260s, I would love to take any of your old crap off your hands. Just don't sell it on the internet, because you probably you're gonna you're gonna lose money. Anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, watch me join Instagram and Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, or I'll find your firstborn and I'll eat them. Makes videos about computers on the internet.